Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Kami nga pala ang ikaapat na grupo. Magbibigay sa inyo ng kaalaman ukol sa hyperbola. Ano nga ba ang hyperbola? Ang hyperbola ay isa sa mga conic section ng pre-calculus. Isa itong term sa Cartesian plane. Ang hyperbola ay may dalawang klaso o connected components o branches. Paano naman mag-solve ng hyperbola? Ang unang alimbawa ay x squared over 144 minus y squared over 81 plus 1. Unang kailangan din kunin ang square root ng 144 at 81. Ito ang magsisilbing a squared at b squared natin. Para sa a squared, kukun natin ang square root ng 144 at ang square root ng 144 ay 12. At ito ang a squared. Sa b squared, kukunin naman natin ang square root ng 81 at ang square root ng 81 ay 9. At ito ang naman ang ating b squared. Ngayon, may a squared at b squared na tayo. Isisolve naman natin ang center. Para sa center, i-add natin ang a squared at b squared. At ito ang 144 at 81. 144 plus 81 equals 225. Ang squared ng 225 is 15. At ang center natin ngayon ay 15. Katapos na natin kunin ang mga square root at center, ilagay na natin ito sa posa at vertices. Ang formula ng posa ay F over parenthesis C and 0 close parenthesis F1 15 and 0 F2 negative 15 0 Para sa vertices ay B open parenthesis A and 0 close parenthesis B1 12 0 B2, negative 12, 0. Para, para naman sa asymptotes, ang formula ay B over AX. Kaya ang asymptotes natin ay negative 9 over 12X and 9 over 12X. Kano naman kung B is greater than A and G halimbawa natin para dito ay x minus 8 squared divided by 64 minus y minus 4 squared divided by 16 equals 1. Kanin amun a natin a n g square root n g 64 at 16 na magsasil by natin a squared at b squared. Para sa a squared i a n g square root n g 64 at i t i 8 para naman sa b squared. I t o i 16 at i t o i for para naman sa center 64 plus 16 equals to 80 and the square root of 80 is 8.94 at nayan i is a solve nanatan a n g foci at vertices paras r foci a n g formula i f open parenthesis plus or minus c k close parentheses F1 open parentheses 16.94 and 4. F2 open parentheses 94 and 4 close parentheses. Paris are vertices IV open parentheses plus or minus K close parentheses. V1 open parentheses 16.4 and close parentheses. And V2 open parentheses row and for then close parentheses. At a n g asymptotes i y plies for equals for over eight open parentheses x plus eight close parentheses y plus for equals for over eight open parentheses x plus eight close parentheses. Hyperbola. If the given hyperbola has h and k, we need to follow the other standard form of hyperbola and other formulas. For this one, we have our formula if the equation is a is greater than b, which is x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. For this equation, we have our example given x minus h squared over 64 minus y minus 4 squared over 16 is equal to 1. Since our denominator are not in the form of our standard form, which is a squared and b squared, we have to square 
we have to get its square root. For let for, for a we have 64. Square root of 64 is equal to 8. And then for letter B, we have 16. The square root of 16 is 4. For our letter C, we need the sum of its denominator, which is 64 and 16. And since it's not in the standard form, we also have to square, square we also have to get its square root, which is 64 plus 16 is equal to 80. Then square root of 80, if you calculate it, you'll have 8.94. And for the H and K, it is obvi obviously given that H is equal to 8 and K is equal to 4. After that, we need to proceed for the Fossey and vertices. For the for formula of the Fossey, we have H plus and minus C K. And for the vertices, we have H and minus A K. Now we'll get, we'll get the F1, which is H plus C and K. Ibig sabihin that H and C is your X coordinate and K is your Y coordinate. For this F1, first we have to add the H, H and C. Our given H is 8 and our given C is 8.94 and our given K is 4. Now we'll add these two. 8 plus 8.94 is equal to 16.94 and our K is 4. So ito na ngayon yung F1 natin. And then for our F2, for F2, since um, we already used the additional addition here, gagamitin naman natin yung subtraction. H minus C K, which your H is 8 and your C is 8.94. Tapos yung K mo is 4. And then you need to subtract this one. 8 minus 8.94 is equal to negative 0 0.94. 4. Ayan. So, nakuha na natin yung fossi natin. Now, we go to our vertices. For our vertices, we have V1. For V1, we have H, again, H plus A, K. K. For our H, we have 8. And for our A, also 8. And, and then K, 4. 8 plus 8 is 16, and then 4, yan. And for our V2 naman, we have H, H minus A, and K, yan. H is 8, A is 8 also, and then our K is 4. Our coordinates for V2 is 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 and 4. So, ayan, so you. And for our formula for asymptotes, we have y plus 4 is equal to negative 4 over 8 times x plus 8. And then on the other hand, we have y plus 4 is equal to positive 4 over 8 times x plus 8. Ayan. So, for this one, we have the formula if the equation is b is greater than a naman. Our formula is y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1. For example, we have um, 8 times x minus 3 squared minus 2 times y 
plus 7 squared is equal to 200. Since hindi siya naka-standard form, kailangan natin siyang gawin na standard form. So, ang unang gagawin natin is we have to make this as 1. So, kailangan natin mag-divide ng 200. Wait lang. Divided by 200 para maging 1 na siya. At ganun din dito sa kabila. Para meron siya numerator. Ayan. Since, um, kagaya nung nauna example, hindi siya naka-standard form na squared, gagawin ulit natin siyang, um, kukunin ulit natin yung kanyang square root. Pero kailangan mo natin eliminate yung whole number dito. We have to reduce it. Um, 8, 200 divided by 8 is 25, right? And for this one, we have 200 divided by 2 is 100. So, ang magiging itsura ng ating equation ay ganito. 25 minus y plus 7 squared over 100 is equal to 1. Ayan. Medyo na-simplify na siya. Now, again, hindi ulit siya naka-squared. Kukunin natin yung square root nila. For a, we have 25. The square root of 25 is equal to 5. Oh, so, ito yung a natin. For letter b, we have 100. The square root of 100 is 10. And for our letter c, the sum of its numerator which is 25 plus 100 is equal to 125 and kunilit natin yung square root niya which is square root of 125 is equal to kapag kinalculate mo 11.18 and for our h and k we have for h we have 7 and for k we have 3 Ayan siya. And for our FOSI, for, for our formula for our FOSI is H K plus and minus C. Ayan siya. So our A stands for our X coordinate and K plus or minus C stands for our Y coordinate. For FOSI 1, we have H, K plus C, and our given H is 7, our K is 3, and our C is 11.18. Our F1 now is 7, 3 plus 11.18 is 14.18. Ayan, and then coordinate natin. And for our F2, we have H, K minus C naman. Ayan. And for H, we have 7, K is equal to 3, and our C is 11.18. 7, 3 minus 11.18 is equal to negative 8. Point 0.18 So, ayan, kompleto na yung F1, F1, and F2 natin. And for vertices, we have our formula H, K plus and minus A. Ayan. For V1, we have H, K plus A. Our H is 7. Our K is... For V1, we have 7, 
3 plus 5 is equal to 10. We have 7 and 10. Then for our V2, we have H minus A, H, K minus A, our H is 7, K is 3, and our A is 5. And so, we have 7 and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So, ayan, nakuha natin yung V1 and V2. And for our asymptote, we have our formula y plus 4 is equal to negative 4 minus 8 times x plus 8. Ayan siya. And for, in the other hand, we have y plus 4, positive 4 over 8, times x plus 8. That's all. Thank you for watching.